All right, good news for you OnlyFans content creators out there. I'm pretty sure if you, you probably heard by now, but if not, that's why I'm here. So y'all know, like a beef, it was like a week ago or so, um, OnlyFans announced that they will be banning, you know, those S content. You know, I can't say the word, but they will be banning those explicit content because I guess they're heading in another direction, but apparently something about the bank. Basically, they're saying that the banks ain't paying the creators blase, blase, blase. Okay, so they got backlash from, of course, the people that are on the site. I'm not on it as in a creator, um, but even I was just like, dang, y'all be doing these workers wrong because I'm trying to remember what the other platform was that did the same thing. I forgot what it was. But anyway, this has been kind of done before where the S workers help build the platform and make it popular. And then they get kicked to the curb, right? And then they, the S workers got to go elsewhere. <laughs> so there's what's OnlyFans. OnlyFans, they do all kinds of stuff, but the S workers make it popular, okay? And so they were kicking them to the curb, apparently because of some bank situation. And I feel like getting into all that. Now, the S workers were complaining and and all that. So here's what they say. I, I, I woke up, I'm strolling. It says, good news, only fans is drop is hold on, what is it? Uh -uh, wrong one. Okay, it said good news only oh yeah, only is dropping plan P word. I can't say the word. Ban will continue to allow S explicit content. So they put a they, they canceled October I think it was October 31st or October something where they was going to ban the S account the content the you know y'all know what I'm talking about so they put up stop to that they're not going to do that again so people who were about to go to the unemployment line and oh my God what are we going to do guess what you can continue to do that. They're not going to stop it again. They heard you guys loud and clear. The backlash was huge. And I, I'm going to tell you something else. I don't think it's just the backlash from the S workers. I also think, because y'all know Tiger, the rapper. He used to date Kylie when she was underage, allegedly. Um, They were just friends, so, so they say. But Tiger went and did... Uh, what you call it? He did his own site because he was on OnlyFans. And so he had uh he created a site called My Star. And he said, This is um this is what it says. Just deleted my OnlyFans. This is from Tiger. Just deleted my OnlyFans. Started my own platform at My Star 8. More futuristic, better quality, and 10% fee. He says creators will also be able to make content of their choice. Apply now to be first to get an invite, mystar.com, right? Now, he's already a popular figure. He's already got a lot of people that was checking for him on um, uh, OnlyFans and doing his content. So the fact that OnlyFans were turning their back on S-Workers and one of the S-Workers who was very popular, a rapper named Tyga, was like, okay, this is an opportunity for making money and do my own site and have the people come over. And I also think that the OnlyFans people, they were like, not, not only that they were losing a lot of money, they realized that they were losing a lot of money, they they realized that, you know what, Tiger is going to be the next probably big thing because he's creating his own thing called MyStar. And you know he's going to get a lot of uh, free publicity because he's a big a, a rapper, you know, a black rapper making a big move like that. So I think that the OnlyFans people were just like, oh, no, 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 no. He's not finna get all that clout from these S workers and, and, and they about to go over there. So I think that they, they rethought along with the backlash and losing money. They was like, oh no, we gonna keep them. Because it wasn't just Tiger though. I think it was other people saying that they gonna just do their own websites. They, I guess personal website just for them or whatever. But I don't know, wouldn't that be like a... Okay, well anyway, so I think they, they know that they was gonna lose a lot of money, like a lot of money. And they, Tiger, Tiger's upset though, cause Tiger, I, I was on Instagram, and it was on Hollywood Unlock, right? That I saw reported this, right? So Tiger put in the comment section, cap. So he he got the the cap, you know, mean lie for the older folks. If you're tuning in and you don't know, 
that means you're lying. <laughs> so he just picked up, he got the blue cap, just like cap. Like, basically, y'all don't pay attention to OnlyFans. Um, he don't have trust in them anymore. They might turn around and do the same thing next year or later or the year after that. So basically, he's just saying, uh, be on board of mine. I would never turn my back on you. So I don't know. For the S-Workers out there, if you tune in this video or if you just got an opinion, would you guys trust OnlyFans? Me personally, if I feel like if you can do it on your own and have your own site, just go on that. And, and, and you'll be in control and, and, and know that you, you're you not going to turn your back on yourself. I wouldn't put my trust in, in these these fickle uh, uh, sites because that's kind of like what they they done it before to S workers. You know what I mean? And those content creators, they, they you know, they help. They, they let you popularize it. They take their percentage and then kick you to the curb. So I say let this be a lesson to the S workers out there. And if you're smart enough or you got the will enough to just go and do your own site and have people come to your site, you know you're not going to turn your back on yourself. So I, I, I'm, I'm kind of feel like I'm with Tiger. I ain't want nobody who's not going to be loyal. I'm bringing all this money and you so quick to not fight for me. Talking about some bank. Yeah, that turned around real quick when them backlash came and people talking about their own platform, uh, creating their own site. So that's just my opinion on the situation. I feel like it should have never been. Uh, I don't have anything against it. Some people were like happy and making fun of them. And I'm all for a good comedic joke. I think I share like one meme or whatever uh, that was funny. But overall, I feel like you should have a safe place. It's a safe place. You don't want people to be doing it in other ways and that's not necessarily safe and that could get them in trouble. It's just like, give them a space, please, man. Stop. This is the oldest trick in the book. The oldest profession, let people have that right and control over what they want to do with their body. That's their business, okay? Let them capitalize up and make money off it because God knows it's been really helpful during COVID for a lot of people who's into that. You know, I ain't judging. That's your business. I watch, I go on Twitter and I even watch some of them. The clips, I ain't paying now, but I y'all got enough clips out there to, you know, satisfy me, but that's my business. But anyway, um... Yeah, that's that's all I got to say on it. it, it you know, I, I don't have a problem with people doing that. It's whatever. Uh, comment in the comment section what you think about this, and uh, hit that. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button, please, please.